everyone, it's Carrie with Pink Concoctions, back to make more cold process soap. Um, today I am making a soap with the Blood Orange Fragrance from Candle Science. I am making a one pound batch because this is a this is a one ounce container of the fragrance oil. It is um, very, it's like beat you over the head kind of orange scent. But I am using orange because my soap is going to be white and orange and black. I am uh, I am just going to get to it and then um, I'll explain what I, how I plan on incorporating those three colors. Add my lye water which I have added sodium lactate to. If you hear those meows in the background, that would be my furball. It is near to their dinner time, so they are letting me know that mom is time to eat. Don't you dare forget. I'm gonna buzz this up. My lye water was very cold. I actually stored it in the fridge. Kind of hoping I would slow down Trace, but doesn't look like it. So I am going to add my fragrance oil right now. It's not supposed to discolor or um, cause any trouble whatsoever, although I do see a tad bit of ricing in this. Let me stir it a little bit. Could have been because my lye was so cold. Yeah, this, this the temperature of this soap here is quite uh, quite chilly, even through the glass. All right. Oh man, guys, orange is my favorite scent after cherry almond, which is a soap you will see sooner or later. <laughs> I actually have the scent. I just I've got probably like thirteen scents at this point. So um, I am not. It doesn't look like the rising is too bad, so I'm not going to stick blend it. I am going to use those three colors, so I am going to divide my batch into three here, and I'm actually going to weigh it, because I kind of do want even colors. Um, so pardon me a moment while I take care of this. I'm going to use titanium dioxide and so I want to make sure I have some um, I have enough soap here in my bowl to mix it in with a stick blender I'm going to do my titanium dioxide first and then I will um, put it in my third container here and then we will mix up the other two colors I don't like titanium dioxide it's the bane of my existence All right, so my white is all set. So in this container is my activated charcoal mixed with olive oil. I don't anticipate I'm gonna need all of that, but I'm going to do the orange first. So here is the orange. It is again, just the mica mixed in um, olive oil. It is Nurture Soap's Atomic Orange Mica Powder. And um, it is a bright orange neon soap. I'm, I'm, kind of close to what I'm hoping so I'm, I'm really hoping it isn't neon in the final um, batch here but I probably just added a teaspoon to my um, my oils or rather my soap batter here and I don't know how well you guys can see that in there I will lift it up once I'm done stirring right now I have a very peachy color and that's not what I want so I'm going to add some more I'm looking for a very clearly I am orange soap here. <laughs> All right, so that's what it looks like. Hopefully you guys can see it. You'll see it as I start to pour it as well. Um, I am not anticipating needing nearly that much. Uh, for the titanium dioxide portion. <clears throat> if you've never worked with titanium dioxide, here is a clue. Oh, this one is much thicker. Um, here's a clue. It is it gets everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, yeah, I'll go with that. So that's black. Um, I'm going to stick the lid on these. Where is my lids? Oh, staring at me right in the face. Mm -hmm. Don't do that without sticking your finger over the hole. So right here I've got my um, my mold from, it'll be in the description box below and I'll probably put it across the screen at the moment. They are an awesome company and if you are a soaper, I highly suggest their mold. They, I just, the customer service with these guys are awesome. She is so cool. Cause she sent me these, um these, these, film liners to line my mold to make them um, removal easier and she didn't have to do that and that was really nice so what I am doing is making soap for um, two Redditors currently Reddit is doing a gift exchange it's something they do probably four times a year and um, one of the exchanges this year is bath products so I thought I would make some soap for the for the um, people that I signed up to trade with. So, but I figured I'm making soap already. I can make some soap and I can give them some handmade soap. So what I'm going to do is I should end up with four bars that uh, they need to be shipped out by July 27th. So, and this is June 21st. And um, that gives me just enough time to let the bars cure. And if you've never seen Reddit, don't know anything about Reddit, the colors of Reddit are white, black, and orange. There's a little character that stands for Reddit, and he is mostly white with um, some orange elements on him and an outline in black. So that's why I've chosen these colors, and I'm going to do a circular pour here. I don't know if there's an actual, it's going to look like polka dots in the end. And I'm doing that because he is very circular and a lot, and like Reddit font is very round. And, and so that's where I'm going with that. So I'm just going to get started, and uh, I'll pour, or rather I'll put in a couple, and then I'll probably fast forward the video so you can see me put it without me talking. My soap stiffened up on me a little bit, but that's okay. Well, the white one did anyways. Don't worry, I'm going to bang it down. the video, maybe subscribe, upload about once a week, and hit the bell if you want, but I would really love it if you leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of the soap. I don't know, I kind of want to swirl it. What do you guys think? I was going to not do a swirl because it's very possible that the person I end up with will be a guy and may not appreciate a soap that is super, super girly looking, but I think I'm gonna do it anyways. I also think it's fairly likely that um, the, the majority of the people who might sign up for a bath and body sort of gift exchange might be women, so eh, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try and do circulars anyways. I was just kind of hoping to spread the white out a little bit there. Alright, that's why I'm going to leave that there. Alright, so that's the soap. Um, I will lift it up so you guys can get a chance to see it. And I will see you when it's ready to cut. Okay everyone, I am back to cut the um, blood orange reddit soap. The soap itself is still very soft. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that's partly because of how much olive oil I used in the color. So I've got a little bit of a Bastille bar going on here, but that's okay. I will, um, I'm going to cut it and we're going to just have to tell the Redditors, you know, to be careful. I still have about a month, so I'm hoping they will cure enough that they will be usable in the month. Otherwise, I will send a little note to say, yeah, stick this in a corner and leave it be for a little while. I am going to send them more than just this bar of soap. So 
and tell them to use those others that I that I sent them, and then you know let this one sit, and then it will be beautiful, very very soon. But I'm gonna get cutting them. I really like how the design came out on the top. It does look a little bit like Halloween, but I, I don't really mind. So there's the first bar. Oops. And there's the cut end. And the other end. The blood orange scent is, is faded a little bit, but it's still quite there. You can tell it's a very orange scent. They are a little bit on the smaller side, only because it's, it set up so quickly on me and I wasn't able to pour them all into the batter in time or into the mold in time. But that's okay. Um, I know better for the future. I really like how the top is a little bit girly, but the inside's a little bit more camo. So I'm kind of hoping no matter what gender of the person that I get in my Secret Santa pick, um, they will like this look. And hey, if you are that Redditor, thank you so much for watching the making of video. That is so cool. I am a little bit sorry if the soap you ended up with was a, a little bit soft. Um, it will set up after uh, after you just let it sit in the air for some time. Stick it in, you know, somewhere where you might want a, a nice orange scent um, in your, you know, spare bedroom or, or maybe in a closet. The air won't hurt it. It will help it set up a little bit more. Come on. There we go. This one, for some reason, this particular bit right here, this part right there, reminds me of Batman's helmet. Or his cowl, I guess is what it would be. That one has more white in it. And there's the last bar on the inside. I really love the blood orange scent. I will totally buy that again. Men would like this scent for sure. And then here's a little cut end, little sample that I'll keep. And that is the blood orange Reddit bar. Thank you so much for watching. My soap is so rude, you guys. <laughs>